Get ready to cook with the best. Join our favorite chefs in the Taste Made Kitchen as they show you how to make restaurant quality dishes at home. It's time to make this tonight. Hey guys, Bert Backman, a chef of Santolina over in Beverly Hills and Slab Barbecue in Los Angeles. Today I'm making one of my family's favorite dishes, our smoked turkey and spring vegetable galette. It's a dish that's fun to make, has these layers of potatoes and sauteed onions and zucchini and cheese. And since I'm a pit master and I love barbecue, I'm using the boar's head, the bold pit craft, slow smoked turkey. In this pan, I have one onion that I sliced and I'm sauteing just to soften it up a little bit as a base for my galette. To that, I will add some potatoes. I'll start just to soften them up a little bit. They will finish cooking in the oven. Some zucchini, some nice thin slices of zucchini. You can do it by knife, you can do it with a mandolin. The zucchini and the potatoes will be a nice companion, a nice addition to the pit smoked turkey, which is really the flavor. You can taste the smoke that's in it. It has the, the chilies and the, the brown sugar, and it really has that authentic barbecue flavor that I love. All right, bam. This, a little bit of salt. And while this is cooking, I'm gonna grab some dough that I made earlier for the galette. All right, the fun part. This dough is very basic. It's just flour, some salt, some sugar, and some cold butter. But you can easily use store-bought dough as well. Of course, you need a little bit of flour. When you're rolling out a dough like this, always start rolling it out from the center so you'll have an even surface. So right from the middle, we start rolling it out and rotating it. I remember the first time I made this after my first daughter's first checkup and we were at the doctor's office and there's all these magazines there and I'm waiting, I don't know what's going on, it's my first kid. And uh, I see this recipe for this for this cake. You know, I didn't even know what it was. It was a, a crostata. And uh, it's the same thing as a galette, just a difference, like the difference is in the language. And uh, I slowly ripped the page. And I remember my wife looking at me thinking we're gonna get in trouble. But, uh, you know, the rest is history. I went home, I made it, she loved it. And we've been making it so often that actually my little girl who was a baby at that time, started to help me with the same process as she was growing up. I think this looks great. I think the doctor would be proud. And boom, fold it up a little bit like this. And bring in the tray. Opa. Perfect. Okay, so now I have my base. And we will layer this. So I'm just gonna grab about half of the mixture that I have here. This is already smelling nice. Smell is so important when you're cooking. It can take us places. It's like real time travel. All right. Now I will layer this beautiful boar's head, bold pit craft, slow smoked turkey. Just go into your local deli, get some slices. My kids cannot have enough of it. They love it, they eat it all the time. You have all the flavor profiles of a pit smoked meat here. This turkey just screams barbecue. It smells like barbecue to me. It has all the right notes of smoke and it's something that I enjoy, that I love. And my kids love it, love it. This sounds like a very fancy dish, but it's really easy to execute. It's fun to make. It's very nourishing, it's comforting, it's warm. And most importantly, it's delicious. Then I sprinkle some shredded mozzarella. Shame to put anything in the oven without cheese. Let it melt. Look at this. And another layer of this pit craft turkey. Add the 
nice. Okay, boom, nice turkey plate. And now very easily, just roll it over and fold it up. Just like this, boom. Now we need a little bit of an egg wash. We can add a little bit of water. People add different things to it. And this just helps give it this beautiful golden crust and color, a layer. Um, you can use a fork to whisk it, but I think a brush will do just fine. And just pretend like you're Leonardo da Vinci. Since I just got my hands on a lot of Parmesan, what I'm gonna do is grate some cheese on it. And you can never have too much cheese. Look at that. And also some of the cheese that falls on the tray gets cooked in the oven and it creates these like crispy bits of cheese that everybody always fights over. And this is, this is made from ingredients that you should always have in your fridge, in your pantry, items that are accessible. So when you pick up your Pitcraft turkey, pick some of this up as well. All right, now let's just add a little bit of color. I have these beautiful, colorful baby tomatoes. A little color pop, a little bit of olive oil. Now the olive oil helps keep everything moist when it's in the oven. Great, I will now take this and put it in the oven at 425 for 30 minutes. The cheese will start to melt, the flavors will come together, the crust will set and crisp up. Parmesan is gonna do its thing. It's gonna be great. All right, the galette should be ready. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. It smells amazing. You can smell the barbecue. You can smell onions and the potatoes and the zucchini. All I need really is to finish it with some herbs. Let me just slide it over. Perfect. Just like this. A little magic trick right here. Nice. Now we're gonna finish it up with a little bit of parsley, just to add a little bit of color and some freshness. And here you go, our smoked turkey and spring vegetable galette. It has these layers of potatoes and cheese and sauteed onions and beautiful boar's head, bold pit craft, slow smoked turkey. You can just smell the barbecue, looks great. And I like to pair it with my cool cucumber and dill with feta salad. It looks great. I'm gonna dig in. It's great. And you can really taste that this was patiently pit smoked turkey. The flavors of barbecue are all in it. It's a great way to get this flavor into your kitchen. See you next time.